Hi, this is David and thanks for checking out this video. With this video I thought I would show how to create a baseball stitching across uh, someone's head. And this was really a great kid that I was working with. He was a friend of my son's and he was always doing kind of funky stuff with his hair. So at one point I said, hey, you know, if you ever want to shave your head, let me know. And he asked me why and I sort of explained what I wanted to do. And first thing next morning I get a phone call, hey, shave my head for you if, if you want to try it so, so I was committed at that point uh, but I went ahead and, and shot it and basically was able to pull this off um, pretty simple just a real quick technique uh, but we're, we're real effective and pretty pretty dramatic too at the same time so uh, I went ahead and took both of these images and downloaded them for you on Dropbox so go ahead and click the link and you'll be able to follow along pull them up and basically play with them uh, along and I'll show you how I do it uh, so go ahead and download those and come back to this when you get a chance and we'll go ahead and get started. So if you had a chance to download the images, uh, go ahead and pull those up now and you can follow along. I, I have the two images, the baseball player and the actual baseball, and what we want to do is take this baseball and lay it over the head of the baseball player. So to do this, before we do it, we have to get it ready to do that. Uh, what I want to do is basically get rid of some of the areas I don't want to drag over, uh, like this area down here and this blue, blue lettering here, and I could go in and I could stamp that out or do anything like that, but probably the quickest and easiest way to make this as clean of a an image as possible is to basically just take everything and make it white so uh, with the exception of the stitching and the little holes so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure my foreground colors set to white by hitting uh, if, if your colors aren't black and white you can hit the D key for default and then you can toggle back and forth between the black and the white using the X key so I want to make sure my foreground color is white I want to choose my my brush tool which is the, the letter B on the keyboard and then basically I'm going to pick a little harder brush uh, about midway and just paint in areas I don't want to have in the actual image. So I'm going to come in here and just kind of get rid of some of this. I'm not going to be using the stitching down here, so I want that out of there get rid of some of the shading areas and that should just about do it at this point um, now what I want to do is I want to get rid of all this other area through here so I'm going to go up to select and click color range and then what I want to do is basically select the gray and the white areas. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and start here, just click in somewhere in here, and then I want to hit the plus key to add to that area. So by doing that, what we can do is kind of just come in here and add areas that we want to get rid of. And we can see there's still some gray here, so we can kind of come in here and get rid of that too. And then there's still some in here, so we can kind of come in here and just get that. And uh, now what we can do is go ahead and click OK. Now what we've done is we've actually selected the opposite of what we want to drag into the image. Uh, so we've selected the white area. So if we just clicked the move tool at this point and drag up, we would drag everything but the stitching up. But what I want to do is grab the stitching. So I'm going to go back up to select, hit inverse. And what that does is that switches the selection to the baseball stitching. So now what I'm going to do is grab the baseball stitching. I'm going to come over, hover over it with my mouse click the button on the mouse and then hold it down and drag it up to the next image. Keep holding it down until you get to over the head of the baseball player where you want it and then let go. And then basically that's kind of given us the image over the area that we want. Now what we want to do is we want to make it look a little more believable. Um, we still have a lot of white residual uh, image from the other image. So we're going to come to our blend mode and we're going to go down to multiply and hit multiply. And that just drops it in completely. Now at this point you can kind of see this, the thickness of the baseball and the stitching and everything, it, you can see the skin sort of takes on that effect where it looks like his skin is the thickness of the leather of the baseball. Actually takes on the, uh, you know, some of the other effects too. So, um, and then that's looking pretty good. But what I want to do is, is sort of fix it to fit on his head. So with the baseball layer selected, I'm going to do a Command T for tr free transform. And I'm going to basically just drag this around. Uh, I'd also like to just hit the warp tool in here. So since this, um, since I've done the free transform, if I right click, I can come down to warp. And then what I can do is kind of control and move it a little easier um, and sort of get it sort of more what I'm looking for to fit the shape of his head a little better. And you just drag it around. You can give it some funky little curves if you want. And then once you've sort of got it in the area that you want, you just come up to the little check check mark here at the top and click on that, and that will that will apply your your transformation. 
So pretty simple way to do that. Um, hopefully this was a helpful tutorial and enjoy playing with the images. It's, it's kind of fun because when you look at the detail in, uh, in the head, in the, <laughs> it almost looks like his head was stitched up with a baseball. We had something like this up in our studio for a while and people were just sort of shocked that it wasn't real. Um, the special effects is pretty incredible. So uh, let me know if you liked the video by commenting and if you liked it, definitely subscribe and go ahead and play with the images I sent along and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching.